Once upon a time, in a land called Britain, there was a great wizard named Merlin. He foresaw that the country was in desperate need of a strong leader who could unite the people and bring peace to the land. He knew that this leader would be none other than the young Arthur. Merlin approached the current ruler, King Uther Pendragon, and offered him a magical sword that could only be pulled from a stone by the true king of Britain. The king accepted the sword, but as he tried to pull it out of the stone, he failed miserably. As it turned out, the true king was not yet ready to claim his rightful place on the throne. Years went by, and Merlin kept a watchful eye on Arthur, who was growing up in the care of Sir Ector. Arthur was an ordinary boy, but he possessed qualities that would make him an exceptional leader. He was honest, humble, and kind-hearted, and he always put the needs of others before his own. One day, Sir Ector and his sons were attending a tournament, and Arthur went along with them. Sir Ector's son, Kay, was to participate in the jousting competition, but he realized that he had forgotten his sword at home. Arthur, who had seen a sword stuck in a stone nearby, offered to retrieve it for Kay. When Arthur approached the sword, he found that it was the same one that Merlin had given to King Uther all those years ago. Without much thought, he grabbed the sword and pulled it out of the stone with ease. This was the moment that Merlin had been waiting for. The true king had finally claimed his rightful place on the throne. Arthur was initially surprised, but he soon embraced his destiny and set out to become the greatest king that Britain had ever seen. He faced numerous challenges and battles, but he never lost sight of his goal. He was always guided by his sense of justice and his desire to do what was right for his people. In the end, Arthur's reign brought about a time of great peace and prosperity for Britain. His legend lived on long after he had passed away, inspiring generations of people to be their best selves and to lead with compassion and integrity. Dear readers, the story of the sword in the stone teaches us that true leaders are not born, they are made. It is our actions and our choices that shape our destiny. We must strive to be like Arthur always putting the needs of others before our own and leading with courage and conviction. Let this story inspire you to take on leadership roles in your own lives, whether it be in your family, your community, or your workplace. Remember that great leaders are not those who seek power, but those who seek to serve others. If you found this story inspiring, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to receive more motivational stories like this one. Thank you for reading.